at the end of the first overtime. Could you just break that down for me? Like, how's it? Is that exactly how it's supposed to work? And just when you see it work like that, what's that feeling like? Uh, it felt good. Um, something that we practice every day. We've been put practicing in situations a lot more. Um, just to prepare for things like that, especially with the schedule ahead of us that we had. Um, just getting prepared for anything. Um, so I feel like we went out there and executed. Coach JB drew up a great play, put a great play in in the summer when we were working on it, and it went out there and it worked. Who, who, which coach do you say? JB, you John Borvis. Okay, what do you guys, first of all, what do you guys call that? Do you have a name for it or not? That's called Spartans. Spartans? Yeah. Okay, that's simple. What's the key to it? Like, what's the most important element to make that whole thing work? Um, me making the first pass. Um, making sure Tyson gets open, um, making sure I get the ball there. The pass on that is the most prominent thing um, in that play. And he get a full head of steam, got to get to make a play, however he makes a play. You're talking about that inbound play? Yeah. So when it was drawn up, what did you think? Did you think, did you think it had a chance? Yeah, most definitely. I think uh, nobody really expects anybody to run a play like that. So I, I just assumed it was going to work. I figured how hard they were playing, how hard they were denying me. They feel like I was probably going to just run to the ball to get the ball open. So I feel like it was going to work from the door. How good does this feel after the wave against that? You know, you guys were right there, almost had the big win the other day. Now you're here, you, you start to close the door on them a little bit. Um, it shows us growth. Um, it shows the, the growth that we made in a short period of time, Um, just in the second half, just putting two halves together. I feel like we did a better job of that tonight. And um, it just shows how connected we are and how, how tough a team we're going to play and how we're going to bring it every night. So it shows a, shows a lot. AJ, what was that message from Coach, um, you know, those timeouts during that final overtime, you know, possibly trying to have that similar outcome that you guys had? Um, it was just you just put us in positions to execute, um, put us in positions to win. It was necessarily just a moment to go out there and let's get home and just win this game. Um, go out there and just be tough. Um, things that we preach every day at Michigan State basketball is just what we went out there to do. Yeah, and you know, kind of a hard goal in the first half, and then you know, got a little back in the second half. What was going through your head at that halftime heading back? I'm um, just being better for my team. Um, I felt like I did a little bit of good things the first half, um, but it wasn't to, the way I liked it. I'm um, not taking care of the ball as well as I wanted to. So just going out there and just fixing and correcting things for my team so we can go out there and come out of the win. Yeah, you, you, had, tell me? You, had, you had all summer to Last look at the schedule. Guys. Now that you've got this win, what does that feel like? What kind of momentum does this give you early in the season? What's it feel like? Um, it feels good. It definitely feels good. I'm not going to act like it doesn't feel good to be the ranked team. Um, it shows us where we stand and the growth that we made from Friday and how this team is been together. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys. All right. Thank you, Max.